let's first take a look at how search engines work to better understand how to use them. Search engines use a small program called a spider to follow link after link on web pages and save the contents of the site into a database. When you enter a search term in a search box, the search engine looks through the database for matching terms. When it finds them, it displays a list of the web pages that best match the terms you are looking for. The most popular search engine is Google. Google gains its popularity from being clean and easy to use. Google is also known for having the best and the most accurate search results. There are also other search engines, the most popular being Microsoft's Bing and Yahoo. Search engines normally offer lots of free services, such as email, to get you to use their search engine. You might be wondering why search engines provide all of these free services to their users. Let's do a basic search for the term cars and take a look at the results that we get. There are multiple kinds of results that we receive when we do a search for cars. In the first area, you may notice that there is a lightly colored tan background. If you look to the top left of the box, you can see that it says ads related to cars. These are companies and businesses that have to pay money when you click on one of their links. You can also see that there are more ads to the right side of the page. This is how search engines make most of their money. If you are looking for the most accurate results on cars, then you want to look in the area in the middle of the page. This is called the organic search results. These are results that the search engine feels are the best match for the search term that you entered, in this case the word cars. Websites are not allowed to pay to rank well in the organic results. To the top left is where we can select a category for the results. For example, if I want to narrow the results to only show images or news articles, I could select one of the categories. In the next video, we will take a detailed look at Internet Explorer and learn how to use all of its features.